<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a good old monthly favorites because I've been loving a lot of things lately and it's, it's, well, it's just that, that time of the month. <laughs> Not that kind, but also that time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Also, before we get into the favorites video, guys, I need your opinion. There are so many beautiful Christmas sets coming out. These ones from Fresh are my favorites. You guys know how much I love Fresh. I love Fresh skincare so much and they brought out like so many sets of their skincare. They even have these little cute tags. This one's non-stop radiance. This is facial on the fly, travel size, skincare products, and then this one is my favorite. This one is masks for miles. Look at this set. They are so beautiful. They make the perfect Christmas gifts. They have the black tea skin perfecting rose face mask, my two favorites. Boom, in there. So I wanted to hear your guys' thoughts. I was thinking the last week of November, just designating that to holiday gift guides. I was thinking of doing four gift guide videos last week in November, featuring all my favorite beauty sets and other things, just random gifts, maybe some last minute gift ideas. Let me know your thoughts if that's something that you would like to see and let me know if there are any particular themes that you want me to do for the holiday gift guides. I wanna do four of them last week in November. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, great, let's continue to the favorites. I've been loving a lot of things. I've been trying out a lot of things, but for those of you who just want it all condensed and put into one sweet little video, I am just going to talk about it here. So I'm gonna start with makeup. I've got a couple skincare favorites, some kind of body and fragrance favorites, and then I'll talk about some random favorites at the end. And for those of you who are really off put by my hair tucking into the turtlenecks, I'm just gonna tell you now, if you're gonna be watching my content, you better get used to it because the hair tuck is here to stay. Okay, great. So the first makeup product that I have been absolutely loving was this discovery from my Clean Beauty video. It is the Grade On Face Glow Tinted Primer and Illuminator. And this is something very similar that I like to put on my face to my Smashbox Primerizer. It's not quite as moisturized but it just feels so good on the skin. At first I was like, it doesn't really have a tint to it, but it kind of does. It just has like this glowy tint. It's not quite like the Glossier Skin Tint where it's actually like a skin tone color. It's kind of this weird taupey, purpley color. And when you blend it into the skin, it just puts this beautiful layer of glowing goodness on the skin and I do feel like it's been giving such a difference into my skin in terms of it being like looking lackluster while it's very cold outside and the Gradon products are all powered by superfoods and we actually got to listen to the founder of Gradon talk at that True Beauty talk and I purchased this after listening to her talk because I was like she is an incredible woman with so much knowledge and I actually talked to her after and she recommended this to me so I've been using it and loving it it smells really like delicious and healthy with a mixture of play-doh if anyone tries this let me know if you also smell the play-doh in it i'm very curious but it's just got a ton of great oils and it's just it's just lovely i've been loving it i've been using that as a base underneath my makeup over the last couple of weeks since that well since it's purchased and i think it's definitely one to try if you are looking to expand your makeup into the clean beauty realm so that's my first favorite and secondly i wanted to talk about a favorite and also an unfavorite at the same time and again from that clean beauty video i tried out the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, which prior to me filming that video, so many of you had actually recommended this to me and I was super excited to try it. And the first time I put it on, like in that video, I was obsessed with how it looked. And I've been actually wearing it a lot since, mainly right before I start filming. And I feel like it's been giving me like maybe the mixture of the two. It's been giving my skin that really beautiful, healthy, fresh glow. This is the combo I used the day I filmed my winter skincare favorites. And I just felt like my skin was so extra dewy and moisturized and healthy looking in that video. The reason why I'm I'm kind of including it as an unfavorite as well is because I find that this slips off my face so quickly like it'll look really good for about two hours and then after that point it's like all slopping off of my face it truly is like a serum so for those of you who've been asking a lot of you guys wanted me to do like a full daily review and I'm really sorry that I didn't do it I'll be more mindful of that going forward in my full face Fridays but um, if you're looking for longevity this isn't it if you're kind of slapping something on quickly and you're not gonna be out for too long I think it does give such a beautiful finish doesn't last long uh, at all, which is the only problem. But what I've been doing lately and what I actually did today for my base now, I actually took the Becca Skin Love Foundation, which you guys know I previously mentioned I loved it. I actually purchased my proper shade. I got a lighter shade shell because the one I had before does not match me no more. I need to get back on a beach. But anyway, these two mixed together 
definitely make it a more fuller coverage foundation but then this skin love mixed in with this just kind of helps it to last a little bit longer too but it doesn't take away any of the glow factor so i've been loving these two mixed together i love the finish of this one alone but it just doesn't last well so that's kind of my two bits on that for a concealer favorite i just mentioned this in sunday's video for the first time but i've been using it basically since i moved to toronto which has been just over three weeks i've been using it pretty much daily it is the lc cosmetics complete remedy silk concealer look at the tip on that it is just such a beautiful product and it performs so beautifully as well it's definitely a medium to full like buildable coverage concealer but it just looks like your skin it has a very beautiful natural satin finish i say beautiful way too much i need help with my vocabulary i don't know what to tell you it's fantastic it's been a go-to concealer for me and one to try i'm not sure where lc cosmetics ships i don't even know if they ship to canada again sam actually gave this to me so sam thank you for this it's been lovely like right now it's actually pretty incredible i have such a bad breakout like on this side of my forehead and my cheek right now i've got some really big volcanic deep zits going on right now and this covered it perfectly and if you're looking to try a new one it's fabulous now in terms of like powder bronzer highlighting base products i've pretty much just been using the hourglass palettes since i pulled them out i was previously using the ambient lighting for edit but i think out of the two that they brought out this holiday season the unlocked one is definitely my favorite in terms of just the shades that are in here i think it's beautiful it's all the bronzy highlighting goodness that i dream of and i do believe they are available again on the sephora us site that's what a lot of people have been telling me but they are as a bundle i think still available on beautylish i'll link wherever i can find them in the description box down below and a lot of you guys have been asking me whether you think it's worth the price because these are really expensive pieces and you don't get a lot of product in here but the thing i will say and why i think they actually are worth your money especially if you've never tried hourglass products before is it's just a good way for you to try a bunch of their products without splurging a lot of money on one giant product like one of their powder products which you won't really use up because they are so much product in those so if you didn't want to purchase like two blushes and a highlighter to try out this is a really nice way for you to get a variety of their products and see which ones you use so even though it's expensive right up front you are being able to test out six of their different powder products across the board and it's unfortunate because they don't have a big shade range for these these are the only ones available and it kind of suits like a very small range of people shades which is um, yeah, again unfortunate so hourglass i mean if you wanted to expand your shade range that would be fabulous but if you are within the shade range and you wanted to try out their products i just think it's a good way for you to test out which ones work for you and if you wanted to invest in their full size products so that's why i think they're worth it they'd also make beautiful gifts i think the packaging is gorgeous cruelty free they got the complete little bunny on it but yeah that's pretty much my two bits on that and it's definitely been a favorite lately i've been using a lot of hourglass this month especially because i filmed my full face friday of it if you didn't see that i'll link it in the description box down below but i just think it's great it's so beautiful it's beautiful to use too and it's just versatile i just mix all the powders and slap it all over my face so in terms of eye favorites i haven't been using a lot of palettes lately i've been using a lot of the shimmer products which i feel like all the ones i've been using are now out of stock but a few of you have been asking like whether i like the marc jacobs sequins or the hourglass scattered light and pretty much what I'm going to say to you is they're all very similar. It's all a very similar formula. They all have a very similar effect. So whatever you're looking for, they're all the same thing. I wouldn't worry too much about getting one from each. I say that my favorite has been the Marc Jacobs Gleam Girl, but I don't even know if that's available anymore, which is why I didn't really want to show it to you guys again and shove it down your throats just because they aren't available. The Shiseido ones are beautiful too. I'll link that down below. I think that if you're going to buy them, you don't need to get one. You don't need to get one of each. They're all the same thing. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I will say, however, that the Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color Pencil Crayon thing, the one in chocolate, I have been fully swinging back into my kind of half faux liner life. I've been wearing it every single day. I've been using this every single day. I haven't even tried this all over my lid yet, but I've just been loving it as this little eyeliner. I think it really beautifully emphasizes the eyes. It lifts them, makes them look more awake and alive without being too intense. You guys know I love my natural makeup, my everyday kind of go-to things and this has slid into the everyday slot i've been wearing it well every day so this has been a favorite if you guys have tried any of the other colors in the nude sticks eye crayons let me know because i'd love to try more of their products i haven't delved too deeply into the world of nude sticks before so this has been a lovely introduction Yes. Now for lipsticks, I've pretty much, as usual, been wearing the same things over and over again. One product I've been wearing a lot this month has been the Lancome L'Absolu La Coeur in the shade 274. This has been a nude that has been gracing my lips a lot, especially on Instagram stories. You guys know I love this formula. You guys know I love Lancome. I think they make some of the most beautiful and just like perfect go-to lip products. Most of my lip products that I love and use daily or that I go to for events are from Lancome. 
their matte shakers, juicy shakers. They recently came out with their drama mats. So Lancome Lab Salou, number 274. And then also one of their recent ones, which again, I was wearing in the winter skincare favorites, but the number 510 drama matte ardent sand. This is the most perfect peachy nude that I've ever put on my lips. It's so good. It's such a good color. I feel like it just emphasizes any warmth that's in your face and you guys know how much I've been loving the kind of mustardy colors and this is the perfect nude to go with that. I love the packaging. The formula is fabulous. It's very, very soft. It's a creamy matte, but it kind of looks powdery. Like in comparison to the matte powder kiss lipsticks, this one's more creamy. It almost feels like a bit more moisturizing on the lips. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not wearing it on my lips right now. I'm wearing this on my lips right now. Uh, but yeah, that's also been a favorite big time over the last few weeks. And I wanted to mention again the Burt's Bees products because as you guys know, I love the Burt's Bees matte crayon in the shade Redwood Forest. This has been such a go-to for me over the last few weeks. And I think I even mentioned it in a previous favorites. I don't remember. I never remember anything. Alzheimer's runs in my family. I can't wait for my future. I'm not kidding though, it's tragic. Love the Burt's Bees lipsticks. And I know it hasn't been that long. I only featured this for the first time in Sunday's video. I got these last week, but the Burt's Bees lipsticks, they're normal, I don't know what they're called, moisture lipsticks? I'm not sure, it doesn't say it on the packaging. But what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the shade Suede Splash. I just ate a breakfast croissant, so it's fallen off a little bit. Such a perfect go-to lipstick. It's very affordable from the drugstore. And I also recently learned that they are 100% clean beauty. I had no idea. I didn't even know that was possible for a brand to be fully clean and available at the drugstore, which I thought was so incredible. It just brought so much more respect for me to Burt's Bees, I just think that's such an amazing feat for a drugstore brand to have accomplished. So go Burt's Bees, you're doing great. Their lipsticks are incredible. As you guys saw in Sunday's video, I wore the shade Crimson Coast to that mirror ball and it was a full dinner. I ate a full steak dinner and this thing stayed on my lips the entire night. It was so incredible. They're very moisturizing, super comfortable to wear and they really didn't move around. Like I didn't get any of those crazy veiny lines around my lips and I didn't even have to do my concealer trick or anything. They're fantastic. So if you're looking for lipstick from the drugstore these are ones to try for sure so that's kind of the bulk of my makeup favorites as of late I wanted to mention a couple skincare favorites first being I mentioned this before in my winter skincare that I've been using this over the last few weeks but the herbivore phoenix facial oil has been fabulous a lot of you guys have been asking me how I've been clearing up my breakouts because I've been having some really like big patches of breakouts I think I got that um, eyebrow wax done and the top of my forehead just erupted in breakouts and I find that sometimes I will put toothpaste on my zits but for the most part at night I just soak my face in oil and I feel like that just really helps my skin to regenerate and just fix itself so this has been the face oil I've been using it's been wonderful I apply my face cream and then I put a couple drops of this into my fingers and I just push it into my skin around where my face cream is and it's been fantastic it has replaced the void that my May Lindstrom youth do left behind and it's a little less harsh on the wallet than that one so beautiful packaging clean beauty it's wonderful and another product that I actually picked up during the VIB sale the last round was the Cora Organics Noni Glow face balm which I didn't realize that Cora Organics was available at Sephora I think it's newly available to Sephora and it's Miranda Kerr's brand that she's had for years and years and I think it's like started in Australia and it's just been available on Sephora Canada so I was really excited to try it and this little face balm it's just a moisturizing stick you literally just rub it on your face like this I'm so sorry someone just started drilling outside and I don't know what to say about that I love living in the city. <laughs> I don't use this on a daily basis, but what I've been using it for is actually keeping it in my gym bag. So when I go to spin or I go to berries, I have just been slapping water on my face to get the sweat off. And just for like the 25 minute walk home, I've been putting this on my face until I get home and I'm able to like wash my face and do my entire skincare routine. So this has been amazing. And on top of just keeping it in my gym bag, when I go to a class, I keep this in my purse. And if I'm just out running errands and especially like I find Toronto is so windy and the wind is so cold and it just makes your skin feel so tight I kind of just whip this out of my purse and I've been putting it around my mouth where I get the most dry and tight and it's just an instant fix and I don't apply this over top of makeup but just my bare face it's been awesome and it's kind of just a nice thing to throw in your purse and have for moments where you're getting extra extra dry so that's been a favorite over the last few weeks and kind of a random thing I love that she just made this face balm I think it's genius and for dry skin gals we need all the moisture 
we can get. All right, moving on to a body favorite. This is the Sella Creme de la Creme Light. This is the lotion here, and I have been soaking myself in body lotion. I do every single day, no matter what. I have the most dry, scaly skin ever. I'm always looking for new body lotions, and I actually went to the Hammam Spa a couple weeks ago, and they gifted me a bunch of their home products. So this is the Sella brand, and Celine, who owns the Hammam Spa, she just launched this brand, Sella, I think in June remember when exactly that was I think it was June so it's a new brand and it's made in Toronto which I think is incredible I love supporting local Canadian brands I think it's amazing her packaging is beautiful all of the packaging of every single one of her products is incredible and they actually do the Sella seed to skin treatment at the Hamam spa which is what I got and they took the seed to skin coffee scrub and they just like scrub your entire body in it and then they gave me a scrub to take home after that I was obsessed my skin felt like a newborn baby's freaking butt they're beautiful and I'm just so stoked to see another like really gorgeous brand come from Canada. So I'm really excited about it and uh, congrats to Celine for your new brand. Sella is beautiful. Their packaging, like this sparkly, this watery, sparkly, beautiful photography on here. They're actually aerial photos taken over Canada. So this is Canadian aerial shots made artsy. So I just think it's so cool. Super happy to support it and love their body lotion. Especially, I think it's been fabulous if you're looking for a new body lotion to try. Tis lovely. And finally, I wanted to mention a fragrance favorite. Now, as YouTubers, we get a lot of of PR and we're sent a lot of things and I find that we're sent a lot of perfume and I never like them. I never like perfumes that I get. I find perfumes very, very personal and it's hard to just send someone assuming that they're gonna like it when there's so many different scents out there that people are gravitated towards. And I got this Burberry fragrance in the mail and it came in like a beautiful London Cara Delevingne themed box and I just thought, oh damn it, here's another fragrance that I'm not gonna like. And then I put it on my body and it smells so good. Oh my word, I, I was so shocked at how much I love this scent. I feel like it smells how my soul feels. <laughs> If that makes sense. I just it's such a great smell and the bottle's so beautiful as well It's it's so cool. It kind of looks like a little flask. I'm not good at explaining scents. It's very fresh, which I love It's a little bit floral, but then fruity at the same time and it's all over tone is very warm It's a very fresh and cozy fragrance. I don't know definitely give it a smell if you're looking for a new fragrance This is gorgeous Burberry. I smell delicious. I smell so good and I've gotten so many compliments people whenever they hug me I always spray my perfume like right at the back of my neck I always go like don't don't snatch back and when people hug me they're always just like oh you smell so good I'm like thanks it's Burberry. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's been my favorite fragrance listen I'm never giving up the replica by the fireplace I mix the two a lot but I find that I've been wearing this during the day and then when I go out in the evening they've been great this is such a gorgeous scent and that's all my makeup and beauty favorites I have one more kind of favorite kind of unfavorite to talk about just a lifestyle general thing friggin haunting of hill house on Netflix for those of you who have been watching it I watched Sabrina and then I started watching haunting of hill house it is terrifying it is truly a horror and I wasn't expecting it to be so scary if you are scared like myself of movies and TV shows and anything scary do not watch it alone it is truly horrifying they they really stuck that horror theme home. But I watched it kind of behind fingers. Anyone else do that? I watch scary movies like through my fingers so I only see like part of the screen and I don't have to actually physically see the pop out action and be terrified in my nightmares. But I actually really liked the storyline in Haunting of Hill House. I thought they did great. Like even though I'm being scared to the point of peeing my pants, the storyline was really good and I actually wanted to know what happened and the ending was awesome. So if anyone else has watched it, let me know. And if you haven't, are you going to watch it? Tell me truly. Yeah, so that's been a show. Now I'm out of things to watch. So if anyone has any Netflix series, any shows that you're watching, holler at your girl in the comments down below because I need something else to waste my time with. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention my jewelry. I actually completely forgot, but I, I needed to mention it because I have been so obsessed with these Monica Vinader rings and I get so many questions about my rings and I want you guys to know that anytime I'm wearing jewelry in my videos, they are always listed in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure and these ones from Monica Vinader. These two right here, absolutely gorgeous. I did a sponsored ad with them on Instagram for their new charm bracelet that came out and then they sent these rings as well with it and I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I'm such a ring freak. I love rings. These are gorgeous. Um, this is my Leah Alexandra rain ring and this is my Elisa Eldridge citrine ring. But yeah, these two from Monica Vinader, I think they just look so bougie. I love them. I feel like such a, I don't know why, they make me feel like a boss bitch when I have them on. 
think they're so cool. And then also this one is from Monica Vinader and it is just stunning. The shape of it is so cool and unique and it's diamonds, baby. They're beautiful. I'm in love. And I also need to give a little ode to the Estee Lalonde Daisy collection. I think the piece I've been wearing the most out of all the pieces I purchased is definitely the T-Bar necklace. Um, I haven't really taken it off my body since I got the package in. So Estee, you go girl. The collection's gorgeous. I will link all of these in the description box down below. And that, my friends, concludes this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you have been loving all across the board. Lifestyle favorites, beauty, makeup, skincare. Let me know all of the things that you are loving right now in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what videos you want to see. I have a lot of exciting things planned for Landmas. I can't wait for you guys to see. December is going to be an insane month. I'm not ready, you guys ain't ready, but I hope that you're all excited. I'm going to leave you guys there. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all in Friday's video. Bye.